Nathan Oliveira was an American painter, printmaker, and sculptor, born in Oakland, California, in 1928. Nathan Oliveira was known for his versatility in different artistic mediums. He created captivating artworks that showcased his mastery in painting, printmaking, and sculpting. Throughout his career, Oliveira explored various styles and techniques, constantly pushing the boundaries of his artistic expression. His works reflected his profound understanding of human emotion and the human form, often capturing the essence of his subjects with great depth and sensitivity. In addition to his artistic achievements, Nathan Oliveira was also an influential educator. He taught studio art for several decades, sharing his knowledge and passion with aspiring artists. Beginning in the early 1950s at the California College of Arts and Crafts in Oakland, Oliveira went on to become a professor of studio art at Stanford University. His dedication to teaching and mentoring future generations of artists left a lasting impact on the art community. Joseph Marie Veen was supported by Comte de Calis and started learning art at a young age in the studio of Nato Iyer. In 1745, he won the Grand Prix. He spent his time in Rome studying nature and developing his own skills, taking inspiration from the great works of art around him. However, when he returned to Paris, his style was so different from the popular style of the time that he was only admitted to the academy because Francois Boucher was angry about his painting Deadless and Icarus, which can now be found in the Louvre. Vigne was at the peak of his career when he became the director of the School of France in Rome. However, he refused to take Jacques-Louis David under his wing because he thought David was too old to mentor young artists. After five years, he returned to France, but unfortunately, the French Revolution left his life and career in ruins. Despite the challenges posed by the Revolution, Vigne continued to create art in his later years. In fact, he even won a government competition at the age of 80 in 1796. Napoleon Bonaparte recognized his talent and made him a senator. Vigne passed away in Paris and was buried in the crypt of the Pantheon. As an artist and teacher, he influenced many talented individuals, including François-André Vincent, Jean-Antoine Theodore Girist, Jean-Baptiste Regnault, Joseph Benoit Souvi, Jean-Pierre saint ours François-Guillaume Menagia, Jean-Joseph Taylorson, and his son, Marie-Joseph, who also became a distinguished painter. In conclusion, Nathan Oliveira was a versatile and influential American artist who made a lasting impact on the art world. His mastery in painting, printmaking, and sculpting showcased his versatility and creativity. Oliveira's artworks were deeply emotive, capturing the essence of his subjects with great sensitivity. As an educator, Oliveira shared his knowledge and passion with aspiring artists, leaving a lasting impact on the art community. Through his dedication to teaching and his constant exploration of different styles and techniques, Oliveira's legacy continues to inspire future generations of artists.